Hey guys, it's Tony and Mike from GameSpot. Mike, you just played two hours of Red Dead Redemption 2 on PC, coming out on November 5th. Tell me, service level, what you thought. Yeah, uh, so it is, as you might have seen from the launch trailer that came out a few days ago, or the environment trailer that came out a couple weeks ago, it looks very good. Um, it's obviously, you know, Rockstar puts a lot of time and effort into their PC releases, because obviously Red Dead 2 came out last year in October, but now, uh, yeah, like you said, November 5th, it's released on PC. It is, it, it feels like Rockstar is just showing off. It's fairly, like, breathtaking for the most part. Um, I'm not traditionally, like, uh, someone who gets super into visuals or graphics, but this is, like, hard not to notice everything. Um, I pretty much, when I first started off, I, they gave me free reign to do whatever I want, but I did the um, noblest of men and a woman quest, which is where, if you recall, you're going around to the different gunslingers, the famous gunslingers, to help this guy write a biography mm. about them. And so I did that quest just because they suggested, Rockstar suggested I'd do that because I would see, it takes you all over the map. So I went up to Flacco Hernandez in the snow. The snow was probably like the most impressive area because the way that the lighting blinds you on the snow growing up in upstate New York, I'm very aware of how that can happen. Uh, like if you're not like paying attention and the snow is reflect or the sun is reflecting off the snow in the right way, you can fall off a cliff because it's actually like blinding you. When I ran into these like the evergreen trees with snow on the boughs, uh, it would just like shed all the snow and you could see like different snowflakes kind of scurry off into the air. It's it was nuts. And then also just the, the way that like clouds roll in, it actually looks like a storm is coming. Again, Red Dead 2 had clouds on, you know, PS4 Pro, Xbox One X, but these clouds look like it, it's actually like, you kind of believe that a storm's rolling in. You're like, I do not want to be up here when these clouds roll in. In Lemoyne, the swampy area um, was just absolutely astonishing in the way that light would come through the trees uh, or light would reflect off the water. You could kind of see little individual eddies in the rivers. Wow. Like I remember weeds actually all looking different from one another. Um, there is a lot of attention paid to this and it already just, I really want to replay the entirety of the game despite being, I mean, I like the game. I know it's pretty divisive, but I, I love the game. That was my game of the year last year. And uh, I do fully think I'm going to be playing it again just to see all of this. So a wide array of graphical improvements, things like that. But uh, for those who maybe aren't necessarily just looking for uh, better resolution, there's also some new content added to this version, correct? Yeah, they'll have, I mean, like, there's like kind of surface stuff. Like there are a few new weapons. I tried out one of the new pistols, which was good as you'd imagine. Um, there's a new horse breed, which I got to try out. And it was just like, you know, like a lot of endurance, very fast. Um, so you'll have, new stuff, but also I think the biggest thing for me is an actual photo mode. Again, speaking of the gunslinger quest I mentioned, you get the camera in that quest, then you can take like diegetic photos with Arthur's camera. Mm. Now there's an actual photo mode. You just I just press start, uh, I press the, whatever the Xbox button is, it used to be back, now it's the two squares, the menu button or whatever. You go into photo mode, you can do free roam as long as you don't go too far from Arthur. Um, there were like pretty dizzying number of options in terms of how I can mess with the photos. There's actual like effects where you can do like a daguerreotype or a negative so it can really get that Wild West look like something that might have been printed in like on wanted posters. Uh, and I took a few photos that were just, you know, like depth of field, obviously like certain, you know, default options that you almost always have. But the photo mode itself, I can see this becoming like that alone is a draw for me. And again, I'm not usually one to get super excited about photo modes. I mean like I remember I messed around with it in like Horizon Zero Dawn a little bit and I always enjoy them. They're a great option, but this game like it deserves to have a photo mode, I'd say. Like the uh, you can have like these like environmental landscapes. You can make these like frescoes of Arthur in the uh, in the the world and it's it's just insane like how many it was hard for me to get a bad photo. I mean like composition wise is always, you know, like it's it's fun to try to actually make it a good photo, but with like clouds rolling in and then like, especially with like the moonlight and Arthur being silhouetted, it's, it's, it's insane. And it was, I, it's hard not to talk about it without sounding hyperbolic, but it really is one of the better looking things I can remember in a uh, recent memory, if not, you know, like in general. So yeah, we'll have more on Red Dead Redemption 2 on PC when it launches on November 5th. Uh, we'll be covering that. And uh, if you're watching this, then we will have uh, already, you know, played a little bit of it. Like I said, I played a couple hours, but I myself am looking very much forward to playing more of this. 
and uh, we'll have them on our YouTube channel, videos about it, and I'm sure other people in the office will be playing it despite the bevy of games we're covering this fall. Yeah. See you next time, guys.